Hello YouTube and welcome back to the Lifeless Planet. Last time we had just arrived in what looks to be some volcanic region. Fun, fun. Uh, looking straight up this. Not really sure. I guess maybe we don't go that way. Alright. Lesson learned. Then where the hell do we go? Because I started right here facing this way this way not that way but can we go down oh we can go down there wow all right i'm blind good to know not sure why it started me that way then all right so let's take the right path first just because it's less visible and that means that there's something important down there game logic if it's difficult, it's the right answer. Look at that. Jetpack fuel. I can fly. I can fly! Love it. I just want to apologize now if my uh, commentary quality is a little bit different in this episode. In a negative way. Because I am in, unfortunately, significant amount of pain right now. Ooh, that's a bit toasty. Well, at least it's a dry heat because I fell off my longboard today onto pavement, and that hurts. So yeah, my uh, my legs are a bit banged up. My hands are a bit banged up. But I'm alive, and I'm here, and I'm recording, so I feel good. Obsidian. This lava-derived glass confirms recent volcanic activity in this region. Really, the rest didn't. I'm always amazed at the deep black color of obsidian. Even more amazing that I found it on an extrasolar planet. Not really. I think I've said this before, but minerals are one of the things I expect to change the least from planet to planet. Life can kind of do whatever the hell it wants, because, you know, totally separate evolutionary chains, but minerals are minerals, rocks are rocks. And jetpacks are jetpacks, although those don't occur naturally. Wish they did, that would be pretty fucking awesome. Can you imagine? Like, grow a jetpack in your backyard. Man. Great. Uh, this part is a bit maze-like, so I'm actually quite happy that I've done it before. Even though I can't entirely remember quite how. I've got, like, this bit right here, and then I have no idea what I'm doing. I am medium rare. <laughs> Puns. Where am I going? Not there. Okay. Now you're just well done. And it drops us back. Oh, right. I go this way. Yeah. I'm not sure why there's all those paths that way. It took me a long time to figure out. But yeah. Um... Because that wasn't clear, uh, if you're following along and actually playing the game, that's a hard left. At whatever intersection that was. Take a guess. I'm, I believe in you. You'll figure it out. Jumping across a volcano. la di da -per safe man-made structures so I'm hoping this volcanic activity is recent or man the Soviet work conditions are a lot worse than I thought and I have no idea where the hell I'm going from here I don't think I can climb this I might let's find out haha <laughs> no apparently not well then um, around it maybe? Whoop, okay. That's also fire. Not terribly well uh, indicated, but I guess I can believe it. So if I go past this. Oh god. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay. Uh, well, what the hell do I do? And I can't climb this? Didn't seem like I could. Yeah, no, that 
does not work. Hmm. <laughs> so I came from there to here. I can't go over there. Could try going up here. And that does not work. Okay. Wow. Catch fire when you touch a wall. And I like that my whole body just flames gone in an instant. Because that is how fire works. There's absolutely no heat transference until you touch it and then you die. Seriously, what the hell am I supposed to do? I don't think I go there. Definitely don't go there. I was just here. Maybe it's separate paths again? But I don't think it would be respawning me back there if it was the wrong way. And I don't see anywhere else to go. So keep trying. Yeah, like I mentioned earlier though, uh, highly recommend not falling off of a longboard slash skateboard, and I do actually go this way, wow. That, really? I don't know. Kinda hard to see. I hope this is where I push that. Ho ho, ho, okay, fire, wow. Jeez. Um... Do I maybe plug that or something? Alright, so give the fiery death spot a wide berth because I like not being subject to fiery death. I think that's a thing a lot of people like. Yeah, right? I guess that's a thing. And if it is, it's a pretty cool thing. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'm going this way. I do not remember this part in the slightest. Oop. Alright, I'm back here. Um. No, now I'm back here. What? Maybe block that, too? Oh, alright, not quite. Close, but no proverbial cigar. That, oh, I was gonna say, in that time I made it over so much easily. Er, easier. Words. I can, I can speak words, shut up. But, yeah, no I didn't. So, now what? So, let's see. Go back the long way. To here. And that's blocked, and I can block that with this rock. I just didn't notice it last time. Work on not dying from fiery death, still. Hey, alright, so that was a clearly indicated task progression. It really wasn't. Not the best level design, unfortunately. Right here, going on in this place, all that. But, if it works, don't knock it. Right? And I worked it out, but seriously, I do not remember this at all. So weird, because the bit where I had recorded like three weeks into the future and lost all my audio. I mean, I'm getting up towards where I was, but I don't remember that puzzle. I guess that's pretty cool. I got to solve it again, right? But <coughs> cough, cough. Oh no, it's her in her spandex. Her burlap spandex. Man, God, that would be horrible. Holy shit. 
Let's go up there. Fly, you have a jetpack, right? Yeah, so now, uh, straight up. Apparently not. Okay, not Superman. Lesson learned. But we do have to go, uh, at least approximately up. Mostly up. Thank God there are these giant rocks in the wall that we can stand on. I'd say a name of a rock, but I have no idea if I'd be right, and I don't want to embarrass myself. For some reason, basalt comes to mind, but I don't think that's volcanic in nature. Igneous, whatever it's called. Does anyone even know? Geologists. Because one of you 11 people is a geologist. Tell me if basalt is igneous or not. I could Google it, but I'm lazy, so you Google it, and I'll believe you without credentials, because, hey, I'm credulous, I guess. So yeah, that's how you climb a cliff holding a woman. The trick is to have a jetpack. And extended boost is gone. So, that explains how she's able to breathe the atmosphere. The Russian woman appears to have greatly modified biology. While transfer traversing a volcanic region, she began to suffocate. Oxygen from my suit appeared to be of no help, and she only recovered upon intake of exhaled gases, including carbon dioxide. It appears her body is somehow partly photosynthetic, able to intake CO2 and convert it into oxygen like plants do on Earth. While this could explain her survival in an oxygen-poor atmosphere, I can't understand the science behind this observation. Nor can I, good astronaut whose name I've totally forgotten. Captain America, since you're an American astronaut, and I'm assuming you're a captain of something. What is down here? Another giant door! Who knew? And a bridge. And a power structure, wow, that dominates the view, and I totally missed it the first time. Well, alright, so I'm guessing that we're gonna have to activate that power structure. And open up this door. Can do. As long as I don't, you know, catch fire again by falling into this. Die from a fall and then have my corpse immediately catch fire. Super duper pleasant. And I forgot I don't have multi-boost. It is unpleasant to not have multi-boost. To be honest though, I would totally abuse it. Absolutely no question. I would break every mechanic I could with that. Including it if there was, you know, some way to- Oh god, dying. <laughs> I like that it just flashes red, an instant spazzing ragdoll. Just fluff. <laughs> and then dead. Instantly. Let's try not failing this time. This puzzle I do remember. I also remember it being an absolute bitch to solve. But... Hopefully that'll go a little faster this time. So yeah, power rocks. I'm not sure how these generate power, why these generate power, why one rock can generate so much more power in this thing than in the little ones, uh, and why they don't, you know, compress this and make it all work smaller or whatever. But, you know, physics, bullshit, science, it's all very important. And top secret or something, I don't know. We'll never know, suffice to say. Which is... unfair. The world conspires against us. El Tsai Konguru. Um... Hmm... Hmm... I feel like these are supposed to be floating. These are definitely supposed to be floating. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna leave this here and go check out what I screwed up. 
probably missed something. Although actually, uh, we've just hit 15 minutes and I fucked up is of course the perfect place to end an episode, so I fucked up, I'll see you guys next time, hey? Hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you did, and you're super, super, super duper, uh, friendly and charitable, I have a Patreon account, which is linked, uh, at the bottom of this video, and you can give me money, and then I can make videos using that money, and I think we'll both appreciate that. And yeah, this door doesn't work. So yeah, um, episode's over, and I'll see you guys next time on Lifeless Planet.